Hey, Vanner Fanner family, it's time for another Q&A. This weekly Q&A is brought to you by Nomad Internet. The link is down below, and don't forget to use the discount code CRYSTALVANNER25. As a reminder, this channel does not produce content for those under 18. Today's Q&A question comes from Gerald. Gerald came to the meetup that I had, and he is a weekend warrior slash part-time nomad. Hey, Gerald. Thank you for your question. For your first question, uh, I would say it's probably because of hurricanes being the main issue, I would think as someone who lives on the East Coast. Also, I think the other thing would be the lack of BLM land. There's just not a lot uh, down there in Florida. Also, I feel like um, a lot of people coincide their travel to Arizona with the RTR. Also, the big tent is there and people can find jobs if they are actual real full-time nomads. They want to find work. The big tent is there in Arizona um, every year. I don't know if that's held in another state any other time, but it's the only place I've ever heard of it is in Arizona in January. There's just way more nomads and people living on wheels out in the Arizona, California, Nevada, uh, and New Mexico areas. And I think a lot of people like to go down to the Algodonas, Mexico for their health care eye exams, um, their prescription drugs that are much cheaper down there. So I think that might be why. Um, if Trust me, if I'm wrong about this and you're a full-time nomad and there's a different reason why you would not um, winter in Florida and Arizona, please let us know in the comments. As far as your second question goes, it's definitely going to depend on what you're driving, how much gas it's going to take to get out there. I would say... Um, Maryland to where I normally am in Arizona is probably about 2,100 miles one way. There are apps and Google searches you can do to figure out what your mileage would be uh, and what your gas cost would be. Say your car gets about 10 miles to the gallon, you would enter about the average cost of gas per gallon. You would put in that your vehicle gets, you know, whatever mileage per gallon it gets, and then enter the amount of total miles you plan on driving. And it usually gives you a dollar number that you would need for gas at that rate that you put in per the mileage your vehicle gets. I would say probably add another 50 to 100 on top of that. Uh, make sure you're doubling it round trip and have that for your gas. It's also gonna depend on what frugal means to you. I don't know what frugal means to you. Your frugal might not be the same as my frugal. What are you eating? Are you eating out a lot? Are you cooking? Are you eating processed foods? They all come with different price tags. Also your entertainment. Um, I know with the, the pandemic, we're not like going to movies and out to um, eat and partying at clubs and stuff like that as much, but maybe you wanna visit some state parks. Maybe you wanna visit some museums. Some of those have, um, fees for entering. Maybe you want to go to the Grand Canyon or, you know, national things like that. And so those have fees to enter. So you got to figure all that out and see what those things are going to cost you. So um, again, your frugal and my frugal may be two very different things. So I can't even give you and nor would I want to give you a dollar amount for a three month trip um, like that, because I just don't know I know I can live on very little, but not everyone can scrimp like that and live like I live. So um, you have to do what's best for you. I would say maybe consider whatever you're eating right now. Is that something you would be eating while traveling and while you're out there? And if so, start tallying what those things cost and kind of come up with the food budget that way. That might help you well, uh, as far as that goes. Anyway, thank you, Jared, for your question. If you want to have your question answered on the Q&A, definitely, definitely email me, crystal at crystalvanner.com. Please go check out the website because I've done some improvements to it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to be good to yourself, kind to others, and whatever you're doing, I hope you are enjoying it.